all their previous moves. But let's go ahead and see. Talk about stale moves here. Bayonetta looking pretty stale here in Smash Ultimate compared to his Smash 4 iteration. That's right. I think I saw it best on Twitter where, uh, you know, Bayonetta was a Smash Ultimate character in, uh, in Smash 4, but now yeah. he's a Smash 4 character in Ultimate. Well said. I can't. I, remember, I saw that tweet too. I can't remember <laughs> who tweeted that, but shout out to him, man. Shout out to Pluto. Oh, that's right. It was Pluto. Thank you. <laughs> but like, interesting that we're actually seeing Charlie pick Bayonetta here, just because it's so notorious uh, that that Fox has such an advantage over Snake. Yeah. So we're actually seeing um, seeing Charlie bring out a counter pick. Well, not a counter pick, but a secondary. Yeah. I, I do like the fact, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I'm 100% biased here. I'm, I'm an 818 boy, but I do like that Charlie is still always trying with Bayonetta. He hasn't given up on the character yet. And, of course, we haven't talked about Key just yet. Now, if you weren't sure who Key was before this weekend, it's understandable. But now this kid is on the map. He made top eight at SoCal Chronicles with Snake after losing round two in pool. Yeah. Not going to lie, probably one of the best, in my opinion, because of this past weekend. You know, possibly, you know, in the top ratings for a top five Snake in the world, you know, and of course, going into SoCal, it's not easy to get a top five in any kind of major. So let's go ahead and see how Key is going to do against Charlie. Charlie is no stranger to being even top eight at major. He's done it quite a few times here. Key with a back throw. I like the opportunity. He takes control of the stage and sets up the cap here. Not able to cap cause Bayo to get hit by the explosions. But a good catch on the throw and just cleaning up Key stock. While also being able to weave around all those projectiles and grabs that Key's putting out. Now he does, we do see the C4 mine on the ground. Now, in, uh, on this stage, since all it's filled with bright colors, it's a little bit easier to see. Yeah. On those darker stages, that thing is almost invisible. Yeah, so no good, kidding. Good up tilt from Key. He's going to clean up the stock. Can we see a back throw and immediately dash tacking, trying yeah. to get the tech tape. That's kind of one of the problems that Key kind of had in, in his top eight set, right? He was actually doing an excellent job against Elegant. But unfortunately, two, one too many dash attacks will cause your opponent to be able to read you a little more often. And I know Charlie is keen to get reads here. I love going for two afterburner kicks, but not able to find much of a confirm afterwards. Okay, dash attack to punish the Witch Time. Now, Witch Time in this game has been uh, completely neutered. As you will really only have enough time to do one move. Oh, getting clipped by his own bomb. He needs to be careful now again, hit with the bullet arc. Yeah. All right, excellent up tilt. I mean, it isn't past like its iteration in Brawl where it was ridiculous, but still pretty strong here in Smash Ultimate. I mean, it's, I don't know, when you get, still get hit from, from really far away, it's, <laughs> it feels like you're playing Brawl. No kidding, right? All right, tries to go for the enemy chaser. They're not able to find it. Oh, I like that. Delaying the ABK and then having the grenade be in a good position to actually explode off the ABK. All right, Long Keys up. recovery is going to be in the center stage here. Not going to go for high, but he causes Charlie to forget the C4 and it immediately executes there. Playing against Snake, you have to keep in mind all these traps. There's a lot to keep track of. Yeah. What grenades are being thrown? What angle are they be throwing at? Is the C4 out? Is uh, the missile coming at me? Yeah. A lot of things to look at when you fight Snake, and that's kind of what his game plan is, right? He's able to toss out a lot of these bombs and a lot of these traps here pretty fast. So he can cause, even though the C4 can be seen, he can cause you to forget it because you're so focused on the other traps. Yeah, it just like ends up in your blind spot and it, you're just, it's gone. But. Good nice. recovery with the Nair. Good amount of damage put on to Charlie. And now we see with another forward throw coming. Trying to end that stock. We see a back air. Yep, that's going to take the stock. Snake, uh, of course, has very susceptible to uh, being edge guard with his recovery. Yeah, that's why you kind of see Key playing the way he does, right? He kind of mixes it. He kind of keeps his recovery a little bit simple there. And when he has to mix it up, we've seen him before. He likes to go for the recovery then for the air dodge. Gets the confirm off the C4. No back air for you, but Charlie back on the hunt here. Tries to equalize the percents. I like these trades that keep going Ooh. for, dropping the nade and going right for the up tilt. Talk about a trade, man. I mean, you'll take the percent, but I'll take the stock. And Charlie was uh, doing a pretty good job against Snake, but immediately Key still using uh, a lot of those traps and rocking the Carhartt sweater. Yeah, so this is winter semi, so Charlie will have a, a couple more sets to decide if he wants to continue playing Bayonetta or if he's time to switch for Fox. Yeah. Looks like it's time to switch to Fox. And I, I definitely see it, you know, Fox, Fox being one of the best zone breakers out there in the game, you know, able to stop. I wouldn't say there's too much zoning going on from Snake, I'm saying there's more trap plays. But stop, but Fox has the speed to catch up to those traps, stop Snake for those opportunities there. And even have a reflector to go along with it. That's right. And uh, of course, like, also having a back here that just breaks his recovery. That's yeah. a great tool to have. Having a fast character that can just stay in Snake's face. 
<laughs> one of the things I love about Smash Ultimate is that you see players run at each other, and at the early game, and you know, the first two weeks of the game, we kind of question that. But now we're seeing players continue to run at each other, but they're going for a mix up to see if they're going to go for shield or even cause them to get a grab. I, I do like to see that a little more often from Key as well. Oh, good dash dance, but keeping that grenade in hand is going to keep uh, Charlie the King in the air. All right, using, using the Cypher to hit Charlie and safely recover with an air dodge. Another Key in the air. Back. Oof. Big up smash. Solid frame jump from Charlie. Knowing that Key had to land, he was up there. To, he was down there to actually meet him with the up smash. Key sets up the up smash looking for a trap play. There's a Stairmaster. Not going to find much yet off the edge, but that back air will change things. It's so funny that that back air animation is so horizontal and extends so far. <laughs> But another back air coming out from Charlie the King. It's gonna even up the stock. Yeah, yeah. I mean the way that Snake faces that back air is kind of awkward to look at you if you ask me. Okay. Like two four directional air dodge. So actually, during the explosion, so using tangible during that explosion. I kind of like how Key even set up the grenade there off the stage to cover his landing there. Charlie gonna keep, uh, gonna be able to hold on to the stage. Key finds a landing here. There's the back air with great tech from Charlie. Of course, being a Fox main, Charlie is no stranger to finding uh, wall techs. But a good up smash, converting to another up smash. These traps are really coming in for Key. He's seeing all the grenades getting placed. But, oh no, very unfortunate. He's saving his second jump. Wow, he's able to make it that back. Yeah, we save our jumps in 2019, man. <laughs> that's, the, that's the optimal play here. A little bit low on Charlie's shield there. Wow, you can nair grenades and they don't explode. <laughs> that must be nice. Hey okay, man, the more you know, knowing is half the battle. Okay, tosses a few grenades, causing Charlie to actually stay there and hold the shield, but Charlie is continuously on the prowl. Charlie, Charlie is like, he's being extra cautious around these grenades. Oh, that oh, might change things with the grenade. No, key no follow up. Oh, and a dash up to Very smart for Key. Key's getting a lot of mileage out of that up to. Yeah. Wow. Well, speaking of, <laughs> speaking of the devil, man, that's definitely some mileage in the sky. Stairmaster yet again. Dropping the grenade just in case Ooh. Charlie decides to firebox right away. That would have exploded on him. Yeah. He's setting up some grenades there to cover up his recovery here. Sets up the C4 at the corner. Dang, so many down airs out of shield. Oh, there's the, the enemy chaser. Not going to find it. Very reminiscent of Ally. Oh, okay. <laughs> I did not foresee that side be actually killing, but I mean, a high percent, something's got to give. Yeah, I mean, that was extremely high percent. Good down air, but oh, the grenade's going to cover the landing. The grenade is completely stuffing out any type of offense that Charlie had. Yeah. I mean, grenade even covering the ledge there, that situation there. I mean, now, just look at what Key's game plan is now. He's just bringing out grenades uh, whenever Charlie decides to get too aggressive and then taking the trade. Oh, Stairmaster, and there's... Sending the lead that Key has. Well played. Well played, and we'll set, uh, we'll set Z fly. Of course, it comes down to how Key's been using his out-of-shield options, right? He's been going for... A, that situation, he went for uh, Dare Out-of-Shield. For those of you who don't know, dare yeah. For those of you who don't know, the dare is known as the stair master. Of course, uh, Smash Ultimate does give you tips to look at, so and it also gives you the names of some moves. And of course, the animation does come from Snake actually climbing stairs in uh, Metal Gear Solid. Let's go. It's not Metal Gear Solid, man. This is Smash Bros. Ultimate. And of course, Charlie has one more opportunity here in Winter Sammy's. For those of you who don't know, Winter Sammy's is best of five in SoCal. That's right. And now it's easy. I kind of wonder what Charlie's game plan is going to be for this game three. Yeah, it's looking pretty tough for Charlie with Key up in a two two lead in the set point. But I know Charlie is no stranger to being behind. He has got a uh, best of, I'm sorry, verse three O's before. I feel like it's also Charlie needing to understand that sometimes I need to pull back and not play a little bit aggressive. There we go. So getting conversion from the nair into the ultimate, even mm -hmm. going deep with that back air. That's what he has to do. Challenge that recovery. Don't let him get back to stage. Yeah. Oh, man. You got to be careful when going. That's what I'm saying. Pull back. You don't really... Approaching Snake from above can't be, can be pretty, uh, let's say, punishing, honestly, especially with that up tilt in play. And that's when I was wondering. He was taking a couple... He took a lot of up tilts. And I was waiting for that grenade to come out and just completely interrupt uh, all, the, all the strings. Terry Master yet again, gonna do solid pressure on the shield. Kiga then cross up, but only meeting himself at the ledge. Charlie with an up throw, I like it. Not gonna kill, not gonna get any follow up, but manages to hold on to the stage a little bit longer. Stage control will matter for Charlie, especially against Snake. Back air will take it against Key's jump. Yeah, for 
Well, the young Cubs finding these back airs now. It's giving uh, Key a lot of trouble on this right side of the stage. Yeah. Charlie, quite the young Cub indeed. Young age, young prodigy. Key looking to find a setup here. There's the enemy chaser, not able to find it yet. Okay, avoiding all those explosions, but you can't avoid them twice. See Morganay's being dropped at the ledge and more traffic Charlie oh, has to deal with. Oh, what a play! Because he knew he had to force Charlie from the corner and Charlie was forced either went for the side B trying to get a trying to find a quick getaway or was forced to make the play. Oh, shining key right through his uh, recovery. And now we see the trades coming out once again. But you can't explode it. If, if uh, Snake picks up a grenade, you actually can't explode the grenade in hand. Yeah, so it's very true. It's, it's, you see that happen, it's go time for at least another two seconds. All right, Charlie making some plays here at the ledge. Key using those grenades to get an opportunity to come back. But Charlie goes for the rapid jab, closing in more percents and goes for the backer immediately. Key with great DI, still surviving and gets the air dodge onto the stage. That forward air putting Charlie up into the sky. This is Charlie's do or die moment here. That's right, Charlie is at his moment, but up smash out of seal. Such a great option for all the boxes in the world. Up smash, of course, looking absolutely huge and still uh, ridiculously strong. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no big change there for, for Fox. I'm not gonna lie though, I do, I do miss some things from Fox, but a lot of people will say, you know, and <laughs> I mean, not getting fair footstool. There's one of those things they will not miss. I mean, he has Nair to dash attack to repeat, rinse and repeat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm pretty sure the combo games are are there. Yeah. I mean, one thing that's transferred from all the games, and for those of you youngins who don't know what this combo is called, but Fox still has the champ combo. You know, dash attack up to the upper. So. Does he have it? Yeah, he still has the champ combo. <laughs> ah, nice. yeah, looks like Sakurai definitely understood who champ was and he said, hey, man, this combo should live on. Let's go ahead and see what Charlie will do to live on. I actually want to see them put the champ combo in like the tooltip thing. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome. Nice champ little combo. Nada. <laughs> nice little Nada 2GG. Okay, trying to shine. Uh, Keith through his recovery again. Not going to find it. Now, great Nair into dash attack. Now at this point, all these trades, even though that we do see a percent lead in uh, Charlie's favor, as long as he, doesn't, in, as long as he doesn't do anything uh, too unsafe on the shield. Oh, wow. oh ladies and gentlemen, uh, Key with the master plan here he immediately pulls the lever and gets the kill. I didn't see him stick it. I didn't see him place the C4. That's the thing about the stage, right? You have to, like you said earlier, you know, back on PS2, you know, you could you could see the C4, but here on, on Final Destination, I'm sorry. You can't see the C4 because it is a dark stage and it has the glowing red era. So sometimes you can get like, confused in your mind, but Charlie is going to throw that away and get some combos on key. All right, setting up grenades at the ledge to uh, just relieve the pressure. All right, put it over there. <laughs> nice, was the forward tilt. I like trying it. to bait him into the C4. I like the movement that he does. He, kinda, he runs in and then dashes right back out. Forcing, uh, which will normally make your opponent want to approach you. I like how it kind of just stood there for the up. So I wanted to see if he was trying to call Charlie's side to me or just immediately kind of possibly got a read there. Okay, keep pulling a little bit back here. There's the forward throw. Sets up for a possible edge guard. Tossing the grenade a little bit low. No explosion. Yeah, but there's the a setup there. Get the, lead, the roll trap coming out from Key. Can't be rolling like that. Yeah. Like I said, man, you can't be rolling with that. Key looking for the, you know, looking to get the roll trap, and that's the thing about Snake and the way Key's been playing him. Right, he not only plays him as a trap master, but he's a force master at it. He forces you for these options. I mean, he's such a good. He's such. He has a really good item game, and as you can see. Man, I'm wondering. Really hard must to see when he's just putting down some of these traps. Or these yeah. Grenades. I mean, Key has good item play. I wonder if he played uh, casual Smash back in the day. Of course, we all have, but I wonder how much Key did play. I mean, from what I understand, he didn't play Brawl. No, he did not play Brawl. Key was a brand new uh, Smash 4 comer. Came out with Ryu, that was the original's main. Made some big waves over at Fire and Dice's True Combo Thursdays. Uh, making, speaking of big waves here, Charlie looking to continue this wave that he's trying to make here. Immediately equalizing the stocks, but not the percent. Key pulls the trigger yet again, but no confirm there. Okay, so one thing you can do is you can actually place the C4 while you're in the crouch animation. Which is why sometimes you don't really notice Oh Snake yeah. <laughs> put their C4 down. So if you just notice, it's on the left side of the stage, but the, it was very subtle him putting out the ground. Only, so only giving the first hit of forward tone. Charlie able to find a grab. His opportunity. Oh, but an air from the stage will get him get Key back on stage. Key with the setup here. 
Setting up shop. Charlie looking to get the dash attack. No cross up, and he gets the explosion there. That's right. You gotta be, gotta be careful with the timing of your for those grenades. They do last three seconds. You have to keep that in mind. All right, you gotta be Key. Them up. Excellent job from Key. Trying to force out Charlie, but Charlie gonna stay a little bit calm here. Panicked just a little bit too early with the trigger finger. I like it. Up smash out of shield. You really see that the uh, stair step was me, and Charlie goes deep for the back air, and even with a small pop off, indeed. Charlie able to, like he said, man, Charlie, no stranger to making reverse 3 O's. My bias is here for my boy Key, but I'm not going to lie, Charlie is one of my favorites as well. Yeah, Key's going to have a have to keep that type of recovery in mind. It might almost be easier for him to just uh, blow himself up just to get the higher recovery instead yeah. of trying to rise up to the ledge because Charlie King can use his back air, which will knock uh, Snake off the cypher. Exactly. Oh, game five situation here. Do or die time for both of these players now. Winner's semis, of course, best of five. One will move on to losers. Win, I'm sorry, winner's finals, and one will move on to losers here, but Key with an interesting air dodge there in that situation. But he was able to make it back to stage without taking too much damage for a snake player. Okay, Key looking to stall himself. I mean, Key does recognize, hey, I snake, I can play the slow game. I don't have to play a little bit aggressive here with the projectiles and the bombs. I mean, for what we see, normally Snake players would just go for the trade game. Yeah. Whenever they they are going against any type of rushdown character, but I like those traps at the ledge coming out from Key, even using his jab. Early, early. Uh, oh. I like that he went for the Nikita there, but unfortunately Charlie was gonna get the better of that one with the up smash. <laughs> Key waiting for that roll option to go for the up tilt. Instead, throwing up. Oh, he's looking for it. Oof. Oh, and. Immediately key, equalizing it up in stocks, but not percent. Charlie has built up some extra credit here. I mean, but when you're when you have to remember that this is in fact snake, that damage, uh, not exactly a lot. Yeah, definitely not a lot at all. All right, key just trying to stay in place, but Charlie moving on here. He's got the momentum in his hands. Key's got to fight back for it here, and Charlie with an up tilt to Nair gets the grenade here, and Charlie continuing on the lead here, just hunting the ground to stop Key from getting an opportunity to pull the grenade. Big up smash coming out from Charlie. That's going to put him in the advantage that he wants. Now he forced to approach, not really having the, the advantage of setting up the trap. Oh, but this is so aggressive coming out from Key. Throwing out these big back airs at the ledge. Okay, Key using his directional air dodge to get back to the and see a back throw. Oh. That's going to kill. <laughs> Man, he wasn't even ready for that as he set up the Akita. Okay, more trades, and as you can see, C4 on the ground again. Dragging up the mortar, up oh. tilt the mortar. That's, a, that's easy damage for Key. Uh, easy damage indeed. Gets, oh, gets the bear hug here, man. Yeah, that's one thing I like that they retained from Smash, uh, from Brawl, is that in uh, certain grab animations, Snake doesn't actually get hurt by his own game. Yeah. Oh, getting the trade with the grenade. And the damage is getting really close for these two players. Stair Stepper. Charlie, that's Ooh. almost a shield broken. Yeah, indeed. Yeah, shield was looking mighty soft. Stair Stepper yet again, pushing Charlie to the other side of the stage. Key has momentum in his hand. Sets the back air. No tech. No tech indeed.